Oh, <laughs> hi, you're here. Oh my goodness, you just caught me resting. Um, but it's Wednesday, and I have my video challenge for Meredith Grundy's Confidently Speaking. <sighs> so I wanted to read to you from my book, Rest, but I thought maybe I should just rest instead. So here we are in my bed with little Chester Blue. Do you want to see Chester? Hey, Chester. Oh, my very, very favorite, favorite soul, four-legged soul. I love that kid. Um, so I wanted to read to you. It's very short. It's chapter eight. It's called, I Got Plenty. And um, it's absolutely a chapter I believe in. And I think once you hear it, you will agree. It's uh, chapter eight, I Got Plenty. It starts with a quote by Lila Gifty Akita, A-K-I-T-A, and the quote is, Plenty is the peace of the poet. Can we play a game? It's a game I call I Got Plenty. For the next few minutes or longer, try to list all the things that you have plenty of. Why? Because there's a wee chance that part of the reason that we're not resting is because of a belief in lack, a belief that there's not enough. And that single belief affects many different areas of our life until now. Focusing on plenty tricks our mind into playing, beginning to believe that there's plenty, which is a whole lot more fun and affirming than believing in lack, right? My list looks like this. I have plenty of dust, I have plenty of friends, I have plenty of beans, I have plenty of words, I have plenty of time, I have plenty of air, I have plenty of socks, I have plenty of passwords, I have plenty of feelings. What this game reminds us of is that when we're faced with feelings of, I don't have enough, something's wrong, I wish there were more, we might have a moment or two of seeing and appreciating that there's already plenty. And in seeing that, perhaps we can allow ourselves a moment to rest. And then in the book, there will be a space called a place of rest and reflection. And that's a place for some journaling. And then the chapter finishes with for years, I was a grasper, constantly grasping for more clients, more sales, more friends, more, 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 more. And now I'm learning to relax and appreciate and love exactly where I am. I don't always feel it or do it perfectly. And that imperfection is perfect too. Right now, I'm realizing how I look so imperfect in this position with all of my double chins and my wrinkled sweater. That's perfect too. Then there is a section in the book that finishes with to ponder or playfully practice. Create your list and then relax in the plentitude of it all. I have plenty of plants. I have plenty of love. I have plenty of water. I have plenty of beautiful things to look at. And then there's a bunch of blank spaces with the prompt that says, today I have plenty of. So that's my question to you. What do you have plenty of today? And I trust that you will find many, many things to list there. And then after, relax in the plentitude of it all.